Hi everyone! My name is Emily and I am a Camp Lloyd buddy this year. I am currently a psychology major at the University of Wisconsin Green Bay and after I graduate college I'm going to be on, going on for more school to get my graduate degree to become a psychologist. And something fun about me is my dog Polly. Come here, come here, come here. She's really cute and super cuddly and she gives the best kisses. All right. Lay down. <laughs> so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make fortune tellers or you might have also heard them be called cootie catchers, but I promise you you will not catch any cooties while making these. So first you're going to start out with a square piece of paper. I recommend origami paper or light scrapbooking paper, but if you don't have either of those you can use notebook paper. Just something that's a little uh, lighter than your printer paper. And you're going to start out by folding these two corners together to make a triangle with the pretty side facing out. And make sure you crease it really good. So it'll look like this. Okay, and then you're going to unfold it and then do the same on the other side. So bringing these two corners together like a triangle and then creasing it again with the pretty side out. So when you're done, you'll have this nice little X shape that bends here as well as here. This is what it looks like. Okay, so from there, you're going to take these corners, just the tip here, and bend it towards the middle point where the creases meet, just like this, with the pretty side going into the white. And then up here, you're going to be doing it again. And then you're going to go all the way around the piece of paper, folding all the points in. And I'll show you what that looks like. So when you're done, it'll look like this. See all the little flappies pulled in? Great. Then from there, let's see, looking at my directions, then you're going to flip it over so that this is facing you, the flat side, and then you're going to fold the points in once again into the center, like that. And remember, this is the flat side, not the flap side. So you're folding your flaps towards the center once more. And it's okay if it's not perfect. These are kind of tricky to make. So it'll look something like this. And see, mine's not perfect either. It overlaps a little bit, but that's totally okay. So then you'll have this side with all the points towards the middle, and then you'll have this side with all the flaps. And then I'm going to show you how to put it together to make your fortune teller. So then you fold it back in again, fold it in half with the flappy side facing, oh my bad, with these pointy flaps facing in, you're going to fold it in half as such and then fold it in half the other way. And then here's the tricky part. You're gonna stick your fingers underneath these flaps on the side right here. So you're gonna get your thumb and your pointer finger in one side and then your other thumb and your other pointer finger into this side. And then you're gonna bring the two pieces together like this. And then these little flaps will kind of pop out to make these fun little triangle shapes. And from here you can move it around and then when you open it up you can lift these flaps up and that's where you'll write your fortunes. So I have a finished one right here and I like to put numbers on the outside and I put colors on the inside. But you can write whatever you want. If you want to do colors on the outside, numbers on the inside, animals, um, your favorite words, really anything at all. And then to, to write this stuff on there, you fold it flat again, and that's how you can have a flat space to write your numbers and your letters. And then on the inside, you'll put your fortune. So I wrote, you will make a new friend, good luck is coming your way, 
something exciting will happen soon and you will do very well on your next test. So then how these work is you put it back on and you ask a friend to pick a number. And let's say they pick two. So you move it up one to the side two. And then you say pick a color. So let's say they pick blue. You say E, L, U, E. And then they can pick another color. And then you open the flap and tell them their fortune. And that's all.